you need to get into this new education system. This new education has made me more money, saved me more money than I ever thought was possible. What's good, family? Welcome back to another episode of Tax Free Living. And today's episode is so important, okay? Today we're gonna be talking about can you write off student loans, okay? And spoiler alert, yes, you can. And not only that, I'm gonna teach you how I've been writing off my student loans for the last three years, okay? So you wanna stay to the end and get all of this amazing sauce. But before that, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that share button. Because I know you know somebody with student loans and they wanna find out how they can write them off on their taxes. When I was preparing for this episode, I just wanted to Google like, what is the outstanding student loan balance as of 2023? And my research has told me, as of 2023, the student loan debt is $1.8 trillion. Many people don't know how they will be able to write off their student loans. Like, let alone writing off, people don't know if they can pay them. So today, I'm going to give you all my thoughts about student loans and how you should be effectively writing them off on your tax. At the beginning of this year, the Biden administration, you know, released Biden's student loan forgiveness plan, which was supposed to have a half a trillion dollars worth of student loan forgiveness. It was also supposed to wipe out student loans for over 20 million people, right? So at the beginning of 2023, everybody, including me, <laughs> thought that, that their student loan was gonna be wiped out. But lo and behold, um, halfway through the year, Chief Justice John Roberts basically dead at the whole plan. As of right now, we don't know where it's at. We don't know where it's gonna go. And we don't know if it's gonna be reinstated or not. So what I wanna do is give you all the best weapons that you can use to get rid of your student loans and potentially write them off on your taxes because we can sit around and wait for the government to do something but I wouldn't depend on it, right? That's what really made me want to make this episode and really give you all the keys on how you can write off your student loans. On a basic level, anyone who has student loans is able to write off up to $2,500 of student loan interest on their taxes. So if you have student loans out there and you're paying them, because again, if you're not paying them, you can't write them off, right? So if you have student loans and you're paying them, you are able to write off up to $2,500 of student loan interest. Not the principal, the interest. Now the good news is that when you're paying off your student loans, especially the first five to 10 years, it's majority interest. So you're paying mostly interest anyway. That means if you pay $10,000 worth of interest, you only can write off 25% of what you pay, right? What also sucks about this is that there's an income limit on your eligibility to write it off. So if you're single and you're making less than $70,000, a year AGI on your tax return, you're able to write off the full $2,500 in student loan interest. But if you make between 70,000 and 85,000, like the more you make, the less you're able to deduct. And the kicker is this, if you're single and you make over $85,000 AGI, you can't write off any of your student loan interest. Now let's think about that for a second, right? We're taught to go to college, and pay $100,000 for education, right? And supposedly, the more expensive your education is, the better job you should potentially have. But at the same time, you mean to tell me that the better job that I have and the more money that I earn, you're gonna penalize me for making more money and then take away my ability to write off my, my student loan interest? That's crazy, right? Like, that is literally the definition of like, conflict of interest. It does not make sense, yet here is the world that we live in. With that being said, guys, I want to give you probably one of the greatest eye-opening enlightenment moments that I've had as an adult. That is the understanding and the insight of the new education system. IRS code section 162-5 says, if you're self-employed, right? Which again, the tax code is created for who? Entrepreneurs, investors, and business owners. 
So IRS code section 162-5 says, if you are self-employed, you can deduct your expenses for qualified education related to your work or your business directly from your self-employment income. Okay, this reduces the amount of income subject to both income tax and self-employment tax. So in other words, the IRS tax code has said, if you're a business owner and you pay for education that is either related to your business or will help your business in the pursuit of income, you get to write off 100% of the education expense that you pay for. Wow. So what does this mean? All right, what does this mean? That means if you're a business owner and you go pay for a online course on sales and you pay $2,000 for this online course, that means that you get to write off that expense 100% on your taxes. Another example is if you're a business owner, let's say you pay for one of my courses or eBooks on how to learn how to reduce your tax liability. Is reducing your tax liability going to help you make more money in your business, right? Because if you reduce your taxes by $10,000, you'll be able to reinvest that $10,000 in your business to go it, correct? If you go to a conference about content creation, if you become a better content creator, would that or would that not increase your business's chances of being seen more? And would it increase your business's chances of making more money? Obviously, because the more people that see your content, the more people that know about you, and the more people that are gonna pay you. So if you went to a conference about how to create content, you get to write off the expense of the ticket to the conference. But guess what? Not only that, you also get to write off the expense for flying to the conference. Not to mention, if you have to stay at a hotel to be at the conference for multiple days, you get to write off that expense too. So now you get to write off the traveling to education, the lodging for education, and the cost for education itself. Like guys, this is one of the most revolutionary things I ever learned as an adult. Because th think about this, think about this for a second. We were taught to go to college to learn from someone who was not doing what we want to do necessarily, who was not living the life that we want to live necessarily, and who for darn sure is not making the money we want to make. We're taught to go pay $100,000 to learn from them, and guess what? We can't write that expense off on our taxes at all. Yeah, we get a little deduction for tuition. Yeah, you can get a credit for the opportunity credit, but that's pennies on a dollar compared to how much college costs. And then when we take out loans to pay for college, we can only write off $2,500 of the interest on our student loans. Like that's the scam of all scams. Right. And I say that as a person who fully went through it. Right. Again, when you don't know better, you can't do better. But now think about this. Now that I'm a business owner, I can go pay a billionaire like Grant Cardone to learn about real estate. I can go pay a multimillionaire like Gary V to learn about content creation. I can go pay a billionaire like Tony Robbins to learn how to be a better public speaker. I can go pay these people who have a proven track record of doing what I want to do, living the life I want to live, making the money I want to make, and every dollar that I pay them is 100% tax deductible to me and I get to write off my student loan expense related to paying them. So Carter, what do you mean, right? So that means that if I wanted to pay Tony Robbins to mentor me, right? If I wanted to join one of his mastermind programs, let's say the program costs $100,000. I can go to the bank, I can get a business loan for $100,000. So I pay him the money, I get a $100,000 tax deduction on the spot, which is gonna dramatically lower my tax bill. But now I got this outstanding loan, this outstanding education loan that's paying for my education. But guess what? Any interest that I pay on this business loan is also 100% tax deductible. So I get a tax deduction for paying for the education and I'm able to deduct 100% of the interest that is associated with paying for that education. Guys, when I learned this, I stopped putting my money in traditional education and I start paying for coaches. As of this moment, I spent over $400,000 on personal development coaches, online courses, masterminds, mentorship, all that. I've wrote off over $400,000 in education expenses, and I've made millions of dollars 
from the education that I gained from these programs. If you want to write off 100% of your student loans, you need to get into this new education system, which will not only help you make more money, it'll also help you save more on taxes. So if you like this episode and this episode changed your life at all, or you even got one gym, please hit that like button and please hit that subscribe button. And on top of all that, please share this because like this new education has like made me more money, saved me more money than I ever thought was possible. And I just encourage you all to get on the wave and, and, and start expanding your way on what you want to learn because you know, you can learn more and you can earn more. So if you liked today's episode, again, hit the like button, subscribe, share, and I'll see you next time. Peace.